Hey, welcome back to the book of Exodus. We are at chapter 9 today, verses 8 to 11. And we're moving over to the sixth plague now out of the ten. And there's kind of an escalation going on from the least severe to much greater severity. And we've already seen it now last time. Let's see what happens under this one. Let me read verses 8 to 11. Then the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Take for yourselves handfuls of soot from a kiln, and let Moses throw it toward the sky in the sight of Pharaoh. It will become fine dust over all the land of Egypt, and will become boils breaking out with sores on man and beast through all the land of Egypt. So they took soot from a kiln and stood before Pharaoh, and Moses threw it toward the sky, and it became boils breaking out with sores on man and beast. The magicians could not stand before Moses because of the boils, for the boils were on the magicians as well as on all the Egyptians. So here we are at the sixth plague in boils. Now boils is a plague that, that God sometimes uses. Actually, it's interesting, when you go to the book of Job, you see even that, that Satan is also an adept user at boils. He used boils against Job, the very righteous man, and he gave him an extraordinary case of, uh, of boils. And this was permitted, and yet Job did not sin against God. Now right here we have, however, boils, boils, and more boils for Pharaoh and the Egyptians. So Moses stands before Pharaoh and launches the plague. And, and there's no conversation from Pharaoh recorded. He, we don't know what he's thinking, but he's not really talking. And so if this is all just Moses. He's just talking and telling it. But it does say quite interestingly that the magicians could not even stand before Moses. Now, even these magicians are plagued by all these boils and, and on the duel, the showdown goes. Now, I've been wanting to share a little chart with you about these plagues, and I think this is maybe a time to do it. We have 10 plagues, but there's really kind of a cycle. There's a set of cycles. There's cycles of three. The first three is a set. The, the fourth through sixth plague are a set. And the seventh through ninth plague are a set. And then the tenth is the ultimate plague. But take a look at this chart here uh, showing some of the similarities. And you'll see very clearly, uh, I'm not going to elaborate a lot on it here. You can look right at it on the screen. Uh, but you'll see a lot of really fascinating similarities between the, the there's clearly three, three different plagues in sequence, three cycles of plagues. And it's worth noting here that when you look at the uh, organization of the ten plagues with this uh, close, uh, close look, it sort of utterly destroys the documentary hypothesis. Are you familiar with the documentary hypothesis? Supposedly the Old Testament, especially these different writings here, including Exodus, were written especially by three or four main writers, E, J, and P, and they were edited and adapted, and there's pieces that were kind of uh, put in and, and edited in and taken out and scrapped and moved around and supposedly all that, and supposedly it's just kind of a, the Old Testament's kind of a, a hodgepodge of all this E, J, and P in their writings. Now, the fact that you have these things working out in a very, very close sequence, everything fitting together in this kind of a pattern, it's, it's clearly a unified Thing. It's not like a bunch of stuff's been patched in or edited out of the plagues. What we have here clearly is, is something that, that if you look at the chart here, clearly they're, it's all very closely interrelated. So that just absolutely destroys the documentary hypothesis about E.J. and P. here in the book of Exodus. Uh, this is clearly not what some of the scholars, uh, big, big thinking scholars thought it was. This is something quite integrated because why? Because because this is the word of God, because, because this is a word from heaven. This is inspired writing. This is the way it was. What we're getting here is not some uh, fanciful blob of stuff that's been edited together. What we're getting here is the word of God all the way back then to them and all the way up here to you and I today. It is the word of God. It has not been uh, all patched together. Kind of an interesting note here and encourages us to take God's word seriously. I'll tell you what, if we could look back and be back in that very day, I could tell you that at this point in time, under the sixth plague, Pharaoh's not a happy person, but he's taking God's word very seriously. And, and so we should do that too. All right, we'll see you tomorrow morning and see what happens next.